Okay, we're gonna add some pizza. Oh no, we ain't got no pizza sauce. Well, don't panic. Here's what we're gonna do. Got some organic tomato sauce. That's a 15 ounce can. Okay, I got me some minced up onion. I got me some garlic, some olive oil, measuring spoons. And this says oregano leaves on it, but it's an Italian seasoning mix. And we're gonna use that. So first thing we're going to do is got some garlic here, a couple of pieces. We want to get that rind off of there, that, that peel. You just take it rubbed in your hands like that. Yeah, it all goes on the floor. I usually do it over the sink, but I'm just trying to show what's going on here. See, I took that sucker right off. And when you do that, if you got those little dry ends on there, you want to cut them off because you start doing this, they'll poke your fingers. In your palms that will hurt now garlic presses I am real impressed with this sucker you put them in there like that give her a little squeeze Ta -da. and take your knife just trim that off like that now Impressive? This is what I like. Look at that. All that stuff that you would have missed out on comes right on out. And I'll chop that up and throw that in there too. But this is so nice because you press down in, it comes up with it, and you can clean that sucker real easy. And that's another project. So I got the garlic in here. I chop this up. Why not? It's good stuff. It's got good flavor in it. You smushed it. You brought all them oils out. Here you go. Those are some kind of big chunks. I don't care. I like garlic. Throw that onion in there. I'm getting some help from the audience. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just a touch. Give that a couple of minutes here, and once we get these sweated down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and throw that sauce in there and that seasoning, and we'll go from there. But this is a homemade pizza sauce. What we don't use tonight will freeze, and we'll have it for the next time. We just didn't have any. That's why I'm making it. Okay, so we got this sweating down. We'll go ahead and add that tomato sauce in there. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to put a tablespoon of this Italian seasoning. Pretty much oregano, but there are some other things in there too. It'll make it really good. This is pizza sauce. This ain't spaghetti sauce. So there's a lot more of this type of stuff in it. Now, we've got our onions, our garlic, and our seasoning all in here. And this is tomato sauce. It's not paste. It's going to be runny. But that's okay because we're making a sauce. For pizza. Mmm, smells really good already. And we're going to cook that for about 15 20 minutes. And then we'll let it cool and it'll be ready to put on pizza. Oh, wait a minute, don't have pizza made yet. Well, we're going to work on that too. It ain't going to be no bogley or 
or an old store bought Betty Crocker crust is going to be homemade. So I've got my sauce simmering over here. We'll shut that down after a little bit. I got my mixing bowl. I got my measuring cup. That's a one cup. I'm going to use one cup of warm water. Put it in this glass. Put this yeast in it. It activates the yeast. Got my flour and my extra virgin olive oil. So we're going to mix up this dough and it's going to proof and we're going to show you that process. This is really simple. You don't have to go out and buy store made stuff. It goes together really quick. Yeah, it takes a little while for it to rise and on a cold day it makes it even harder, but it can be done. And I'm going to show you that. So pizza